Hello everyone and welcome to another Game Creator 2 tutorial. Today we're going to go over some very basic Game Creator 2 audio and I'm also going to show you how to do volume sliders in a menu. So let's first go through the scene that we've got set up. You can see here in the in the game view that we've got a menu with nothing in it. We've got this protofactor Uracetus creature and I've got this little box down here that I'm calling a music box. They'll be relevant shortly. Now to use Game Creator 2 audio, we have to set it up with some audio mixers and Game Creator 2 wants four different audio mixers, one for sound effects, one for ambient, which also includes music, one for user interface stuff and one for speech. And the way we set those up, we'll go into the Game Creator settings, into general here, and you can see that there is a selection set for them. So once we've created those audio mixes, and there's a great Unity Learn tutorial on the basics of doing this, so I'm not going to go through it, we can just open them up and choose the mixer that we want. Now I've also set up another one called Some Audio Asset, and in there I've got a music field of my own, and I'm going to use that to demonstrate if we're going to use non-game creator audio, say from an asset. For example, I just did a project using um, NWH Vehicle Physics, which comes with all its own great audio for doing skids and engine noises and all that sort of stuff. I couldn't control that with Game Creator 2 easily because it's not coming through Game Creator 2's audio controls. So you've got to make a different kind of volume for that. And I'll show you how to do that basically. All right. So as well as having that, let's just go in quickly to see how audio kind of plays in Unity. So I've got my music box here and in the music box we've got this audio source and that just plays some music. So what I'm just going to do is hit play so you can see what we've got going on. So you can hear the creatures having some roars and there's some quiet music in the background. The quiet music is playing from this audio source which is sitting on this box and it's playing into the output called music. Now you can't see an output called music here, that's because it's in some other asset. Here's the music channel and if I were to change the volume on this, we can make our music go up and down. If we come back into the main audio mixer, the Game Creator audio mixer, you'll also see if that music's playing through the ambient channel in Game Creator. So if I go back into edit mode and change that, it is playing through that Game Creator channel. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to play some things through Game Creator, we're going to have that music playing that's not coming through Game Creator, it's coming through a normal Unity audio source, but that normal Unity audio source is playing through the ambient channel that we set up in here. So this ambient mixer is playing through Game Creator's ambient mixer. Um, and this is an awesome way to set up uh, audio in Unity in general, as well as having this music box playing. Obviously the Uchisitas, I've got some stuff on here and this is Game Creator audio. So all I've done is done an on start trigger, play random sound effect and I've put four sound effects in, wait for a random amount of time and restart. So it's just waiting a random amount of time and playing one of four um, sound effects over and over again. And this is pumping just straight into the SFX channel. You'll see here in this instruction, there's actually nowhere to put a channel. That's because in the game creator actions for sound, they're already set up to go to a certain place. So because I've chosen play sound effect, it's always gonna play through the sound effect channel. When you use a play sound effect, action it'll play through that slot if you play if you do a play music action it'll go into the ambient mixer play voice action or play speech i can't remember what they're actually called it'll go into the speech mixer and same with the ui if you do a play ui sound it'll play it through there oh he's having a little lie down <laughs> all right so why do we need to have different ways to do audio? It's hard to explain, but I'm going to show it to you because we'll see it when we when we do the sliders. So I'll stop play and we'll get into doing something with this menu here. We'll go into 2D mode and I will select the canvas and just center us up on the canvas so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna come in here and I'll create a new one and we will call this volume. GC2, just so that we've got a little object to put our volume slider into. And what we're going to put in here, if we right click, we can come into Game Creator UI and we can put a slider, a little text box in here by going UI Text Mesh Pro, call this GC2 volume. All right. So with our slider, obviously we want that to control something. Down here, we've got on change set. 
and we can say what we want to do. Now we've got audio actions and you can see here that for Game Creator, it's just as simple as saying sound effects. We'll put set from source on, which will basically mean it'll set the slider from whatever the source is. And when we change this slider, it will change the sound effects for volume. If I press play now, here our little man's going off. You can see that the sound effects is set to zero because that's what, that's what set from source is doing. And then if we pull this down, you can no longer hear the creature making noise. You'll see that nothing's happening in the volume, but the actual volume itself hasn't changed. What Game Creator is doing with this on change set volume SFX, it's before the audio even gets to this SFX mixer, it's changing the volume there. So when I put this up, you'll see that the sound will come back, but that volume there doesn't actually change. That's perfectly fine if you're only using Game Creator Actions. There's another way to set up a volume slider. It's not as simple. This is quick and easy. If this is all you need to do, if you're only using Game Creator for audio. So let's just duplicate that and change it. So let's call this one Volume Main. And in the text, we will call this Volume... Let's call it Volume Mixer because that, that kind of gives it a more descriptive title. Now, what we want to do here, instead of having this volume SFX here, what we want to do is change a parameter. So we can go in here and choose this audio mixer parameter, change a specific audio mixer parameter. Now, this is where it's going to get slightly more complicated because you do have to do some stuff with the audio mixers themselves. You can see here, we're going to pick an audio mixer that we want to change the volume for. And let's say I want to change the volume in Game Creator audio which is my game audio one here and then I have to tell it what I'm changing and you have to actually type this in so we need to know what the parameter is called now I've already exposed some parameters here ambient is one of them if you want to expose a parameter from the audio mixer and again there's a tutorial on unity learn that will show you all of this because obviously we need to know for this tutorial all we need to do is click on the mixer come up here in our inspector right click on the property that we want and you can see here that we've got a bunch of things that we can expose. Now I've already exposed the linear snapshot transform, which basically is sliding the thing along a linear scale, um, which is what we want for volume. I'll just quickly go unexpose and you'll see down here now we've only got two properties exposed and ambient has disappeared. So I'll come up here, expose my linear snapshot transition, We've come back to three things and it will call it something stupid. So we just right click here and call it whatever we want. I will change it. I'm actually going to change it to music because that's effectively what the ambient channel is in what we're doing here. We can just come back into our slider here and we called it music. So now that we've called that music, it will know we want to adjust this parameter here. There's a couple of other things we can do if you want to change what it defaults to, for example, set a default volume here. So say, for example, you want your music to start louder or quieter, you can, you can adjust that here and you'll see down here the slider is going up and down as I do that. In slider parameters here, we've just got a minimum and a maximum value. So let's say we'll set it to minus 20 because that makes sure that it can be a volume of, of zero or off essentially um, and we'll give it a maximum of 10. Whatever we've set our base value to we want to change this number so that the slider automatically sets to that at the start. If we press play everything's working fine. We've got our monster. I'll turn him down so we can hear the music and if I move this volume mixer you will see here this slider will actually go up and down. So now we're changing the entire mixer. You can see there negative 20 hasn't actually got rid of all the audio. You might not be able to hear it unless your speakers are up very loud. This is letting us actually change the mixer control here, changing that volume rather than our sound effects one, which is the game creator volume, which while it changes the actual perceptible volume, doesn't change the mixer parameter and ideally the mixer parameter this thing is what you do want to change because that will work with any other asset that you want to pump through these mixers. I've got my audio source playing into the music channel which is actually 
this channel back here in a totally different asset. So let's pretend this is our NWH vehicle physics or whatever. Um, that's playing the sounds from my car or something like that. And then I can pump that audio into my game creator audio. In my case, I've chosen for it to come in through the ambient channel because I'm doing music, but you could pump it in through the sound effects or whatever. And if you want to actually change that volume, this is the slider method that you use to do it. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Again, 100% recommend use this volume mixer method, change the actual volume slider um, in these things rather than using the GC2 method, which while it is a simple, simple um, click a button and it just works kind of solution, ultimately, unless you're only using Game Creator 2 audio, it will cause you problems. So if you're using any other assets at all, look at using this volume mixer method. Um, um, hopefully you like that and I'll see you in the next one.